welcome VCA families. Um, I am Principal Jason Davis, and this is Pastor McFarland, and we are glad that you're all here uh, watching this as our virtual open house this year. Keeping our students safe. This is always a priority at Victory Christian Academy. However, this year we find ourselves in unprecedented times with this virus. Make sure you have read the upcoming school year plan and protocols document that is posted on the school announcement webpage. This outlines the plans and protocols and best practice for the upcoming school year. Also, please sign the liability waiver at the open house Meet the Teacher. This acknowledges that you have read the school plan. Any student, parent, teacher can become exposed at any time through a variety of means. We will do everything we can to keep your child safe, and we ask that you help us in this effort. As a side note, with keeping our kids safe, we have now installed an intercom system for better communication between the office and classrooms in case of an emergency. As always, you can call the office with any questions. Student Parent Information Many families are missing enrollment applications and medical records. Please make sure you take care of these things at the office as soon as possible. Be sure to keep school, the school office and teacher, your teacher, up to date on contact information and address changes. Change of address contact information forms may be picked up in the office. We still have many report cards in the office from last year, and we will be sending those home in the Friday folders. School arrival. Students can arrive as early as 7.30 a.m. at no additional charge. The tardy bell will ring at 8.15 a.m. sharp. Every fifth tardy equals one unexcused absence. Students who are tardy due to medical appointments must have a doctor's note. All other tardies are unexcused. School dismissal. School dismissal time for K-4, K-5, and first grade will be from 3 o'clock p.m. to 3.30 p.m. For second grade through eighth grade, dismissal time will be from 3.10 p.m. through 3.30 p.m. All students still on property after 3.30 p.m. will be sent to Extended School Day, or ESD. No student will be held in the office for any reason. All information about ESD is now in the school student handbook. We ask that each family fill out an ESD registration form in case a need arises for the program, such as an emergency or being stuck in traffic. The office is locked after 3.30, and this is how our ESD teachers will have access to your contact information. Please refrain from teacher conferences in the car line. If you need to speak with your child's teacher, please make an appointment with the front office. Every teacher will have office hours available each week. At school dismissal time, as you can see on this map, it shows how our pickups will be done. Just follow the arrows. Uh, two, two cars can pull under the carport at a time. Please drive slow so that you do not hit the pillars. Damages will be the responsibility of the parent. No walk-ups. If you need to buckle your child in a car seat, you must pick them up first and then park to do the buckling. ESD Pickup For ESD, parents may use the side door for pickup or your children may be on the playground with the ESD teacher. Bad weather days. Our school closings and reopenings will be determined by VCA administration. Notifications will be sent out via text, email, school website, and social media. Parent-teacher meetings. All PTMs are important. Details on how they will happen will be sent home at a later date. Depending on the virus, we may hold PTMs on Zoom. School supplies. Your curriculum fee this year included school supplies. You are only responsible for bringing a backpack, lunchbox, and a KJV Bible for grades 3 through 8. Backpacks should be tasteful and appropriate for a Christian school. To help us keep things disinfected, we also need students to bring a paper towel roll. 
Donations of tissues, Clorox wipes, and hand sanitizer will be appreciated. Uniforms. Please keep your uniforms clean and neat. And please remember to keep your boy's hair cut so that it is not touching their ears. All skirts and shorts should be knee length. No denim pants. No denim at all. And no short pants. Skirts must be, I'm sorry, shirts must be uh, polo style, free of logos, except VCA logos. Sweaters must be zip up or button up as plain as possible. No pullover sweaters or hoodies. No shoes or boots that have heels. We do have a three violation policy so that after the third violation of any of these uniform um, policies, the parents will be called and the student will be kept in the office until they can be picked up. We do have new Friday uh, shirts this year because it is this school's 35th anniversary. Each student will must purchase at least one Friday shirt. They are $12 each, and the order forms will be available at the open house Meet the Teacher. Our lunch this year. Students who forget their lunch will receive a snack lunch for $1.50. No phone calls will be made unless the office is notified before the start of school. Parents dropping off lunch must have lunch to the school no later than 12 o'clock. And our hot lunch this year will include pizza on Mondays, Carlos Diner on Wednesday, and pizza on Fridays. The first menu will be in the classroom at the Meet the, meet the Teacher. Future menus will be in your child's Friday folders. If the form and money are late, there is no guarantee that it can be added. And a side note about Friday folders. Um, please make sure that you read your everything that is in the Friday folders when they come home on Friday. We send home many important announcements in those folders that need to be read immediately. You may also come and eat lunch with your child uh, but you must follow the guidelines in the handbook. You must be on time and have the student back to the office in time for the, their next class period. Thank you for making last year's fundraiser the best in Victory Christian Academy history. Because of your efforts, the floors and bathrooms were able to be redone in the, sprint, in the summer break. Let's work together again this year to keep our school looking its best. Special thanks to the following. Mr. Raymond Da Silva for helping with flooring, Mr. Paulo Guerrero for helping with the bathrooms, Mr. Sebastian Dos Santos for donating sinks and granite countertops, to the Brazilian Moms Group for donating toilets for both the boys' and girls' bathroom, Mr. and Mrs. Laracy for donating urinals to the boys' bathroom for assisting with roof repairs and playground repairs. Thank you to the Robinsons for helping with AC work and some duct work in our ceilings. Decisions will be made for our walkathon and we'll keep you posted how and when this can safely occur. For payments and tuition, billing statements are sent home around the 24th of each month and are also emailed to your email address. Victory Christian Academy is a nonprofit ministry, so all money that comes in is used to pay our bills and to pay our teachers. We'd appreciate if you keep up with your tuition. The farther you fall behind, the harder it is to catch up. We ask that you please pay your tuition on the first of every month when it is due. Remember, all credit card transactions must be done in the office or over the phone, and these include a transaction fee. Miss Michelle Rogers will be in the library at our Meet the Teacher for piano lessons if you would like to sign your child up to take those lessons. Please plan to join us on August 6th for our Meet the Teacher. Check the Victory Christian Academy plan and protocols document for your designated time slot. There will be important class-specific announcements shared that evening, as well as some paperwork that will need to be filled out. A huge thank you for all of your support. 
We look forward to a great year, school year this year at Victory Christian Academy. Thank you for entrusting us with your child. We look forward to building new relationships with our new families, as well as building upon the relationships we already have with those returning. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be looking forward to a new school year. We ask, Lord, that you'll watch over our teachers, our students, our families as they drive back and forth and come back and forth to school. We pray that you'll help us each day of school to give it our best efforts. We pray that our students will learn much academically this year, as well as spiritually, that they'll grow in a relationship with you. We pray, Lord, that you'll give us wisdom in knowing how and when uh, to make these decisions. We pray that our safety protocols that we put into place uh, will keep our children safe, will protect our teachers. And Lord, we pray that you'll just protect all of us from this virus and help us to have a good school year. And we pray, Lord, that you would be honored and glorified in and through it. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.